So after you add in the basic level of details, then it, it's time to move on to the next part. So to do that, I'm going to click on the next button right here. And once you do that over here, you can see that I got three options, adding subtitles, adding an end screen and add cards. Subtitles is something that we are going to cover up in future lessons. But right now we are going to focus on how to add in an end screen right here. So if you have previously created an end screen, then you have an option to import from existing video. But since we haven't created any end screens yet, we're going to go around and click on the add button right here. So once you do that over here, you can see that there's preset end screens that you can select from, but let's go around and create an end screen manually first. So over here, you can see on the bottom, there's the video right here and the timeline cursor to see where the end screen appears from. You can also click on the play button to preview how the end screen actually looks. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on element and here you can see there's different elements that you can bring in. There's like video, playlist, subscribe button and channel option as you can see right here. If I were to bring in video, then you can see the element right here. I can keep it wherever I want and resize it. And you can choose this element uh, to be your most recent upload, best for viewer. Uh, that is determined accordingly and then you can choose a specific video over here by clicking it as well and it'll appear over here as an end screen um, uh, area as you can see just like this. Right now this particular end screen um, element is displayed from 20 seconds to 33 seconds but if you want to go around and resize it then you can go around onto your timeline and push it out as well. Let's say you want it to be uh, started from 22 seconds then you can do that as well. There is a limit from where the time can be started for the end screen. And in this case, you can see 20 seconds is the uh, is the earliest time that the end screen can be from. That is because it is the end of the video where you keep it. So if uh, uh, if it is in the beginning, it does it is not really an end screen. You can also make the element end, let's say, for example, around 30 seconds as well. So yeah, th this is what you have. You got the timeline cursor. Uh, you can see that the element appears and then it disappears right here. Similarly, you can go around, add in more elements as well. So you can go around over here, press the element button and so a playlist as well. So you have a playlist that you want to show. You can go around and keep it right over here as well. You can resize it just like this as well. Keep it wherever you want. You can go around, press around the element and bring in the subscribe button as you can see just like this as well and place it wherever you want on your End screen just like this. You can press the element button and you can also go around and if there's any channel that you want to add in then you can go around and add in other channels you want to add in the subscribe button too as well. So here you can see that there's the subscribe button, there's the playlist, channel and uh, in case there is uh, uh, in case you are a part of a YouTube partner program then you can go around add in a link as well. So you do need to be uh, you, uh, in YouTube, YouTube partner pro, uh, program and your channel should be monetized in order to have the fifth option right here. For this example to a channel, it is not monetized yet. So I do not have um, a, a YouTube partner program uh, for it. So once this is done, as you can see right here, you can go around, press save and the end screen will be saved out. And you can see a check mark denoting that the end screen has been saved. If I were to go around under edit right here, then you can go around and see this is what you have. And you can go around and press the delete key to delete out everything just like this as well. So once it is black, what you can also do is you can choose from one of these preset end screens as you can see. So over here on the last, you can see there's one video, one playlist and one subscribe button right here. You can click on it and there's an end screen right here as well. You can also rearrange it out however you like. Um, at the end after you have imported it as you can see just like this and then you can go around add in a playlist according to how you want and press save and the end screen will be applied right there. But let me just go around right here and delete um, all of this and let's say what I want is I want uh, uh, one playlist and one subscribe button right here just like this and in uh, the playlist I'm just going to choose the example playlist just like this and hit the save button. And now what happens is that on the end of the screens, viewers will be prompted to um, uh, see a subscribe button and then uh, we'll see uh, the playlist uh, which is related to the video so that the viewers will um, have more chances of sub subscribing to your channel. 
And that is how you can add in um, an end screen inside of your videos in um, YouTube from in from YouTube Studio. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.